وَلَقَدْ يَسَّرْنَا الْقُرْآنَ لِلذِّكْرِ فَهَلْ مِنْ مُدَّكِرٍ And we have certainly made the Qur'an easy for remembrance. So is there any who will remember? قال الله تعالى في القرآن المجيد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم مثلهم كمثل الذي استوخد نورا فلما أضاءت ما حوله ذهب الله بنورهم وتركهم في ظلمات لا يبصرون سم بكم أمي فهم لا يرجعون Now the first word, Masaluhum, their example. Why there? Because the because of the whom. I've already sent the details to you. I'm sure all of you would have gone through it. Masal Masaluhum. Masaluhum. Masal means example. Like how you say in Urdu Misal. Same example. Whom there. Their example. Their example. Kama sali. Ka means like how you saw yesterday. Kama, you saw yesterday. Ka can be translated both as like or as. I told you that yesterday. Kama. I remember telling you this yesterday. Ka means like or as. Ma, you know, is what or not, depending on the context. So here we have ka no coming. So ka means like or as. We will take now as like. Yesterday we took it as as because of that context. Now we take it as like. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says their example, like the example, Allazi is singular for Allazina. Allazina you know is those. Allazi the one who. Sometimes translated also as which. W-H-I-C-H. Sometimes translated even as which and also the other meaning is the one who yeah we will translate it as the one who this is for Allah so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says their example like the example of the one who Istokhada Nara. Nara, you know, is fire. Istokhada means who kindled the fire. Their example, like the example of the one who kindled the fire. Then we have a word called Falamma. Then when? Fa is then, you know that. Fa, you know, is then also. You will translate it as then. Lamma means when. Sometimes also translated as whenever. Now here you translate it as when. Then when. Azwa'at. Lighted. Then it became bright. That's what it means. Roshan. Jisko bolte hai. Roshan hua. So when it lighted. Azwa'at. Ma you know is what? Hawlahu. Around him. Hawlahu. Around him. Then when it lighted, what around it? Sorry, what around him? Zahaba Allahu. Zahaba means took away. Zahaba means took away. Took away. Zahaba. Took away Allah. Zahaba Allahu. Took away Allah. Noor, you know, is light. Keep the B silent here. Noor him, their light. That's how saw their example. Masal hum, their example. Noor him, their light. Keep the B silent. Took away Allah, their light. Wa taraka hum. Tarak means leave. Chhod dena. And left them. Hum. Because of the hum, them. Wa taraka hum. And left them. Fi zulo maten. Fi means in. You know that. It's a preposition. Fi means in. Zulo mat. Darkness or darknesses and left them in the darkness. La yubsirun, not they can see from the word basarat, absarahum. You have seen that khatam Allah wala khulubim wala samim wala absarahum. Basara means seeing. 
so here allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says la yubsilun not they can see la is the not yubsilun means not they can see so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says their example like the example of the one who is to khada nara kindled the fire then when it lighted what around him zahab allah took away allah their light and left them in the darkness la yubsirun not they can see then we have the words zuk zum summun bukmun umyun all these details were sent to you on the whatsapp you should have gone through it i hope you would have gone through summun means deaf on the word sama again samat deaf bukmun means dumb umyun means blind deaf dumb blind then we have a word for whom the small words are very very important huh? don't overlook them for whom what is for so or then here we we'll say so the consequence no so so whom they you know that whom is they for whom so they la you know is not yarjun they return inna lillahi wa inna ilaihi rajiun yeah same thing yarjun so they la not so they then we have a word la yarjun la means not yarjun means return not they no allah subhanahu wa taala sir summun bukmun umyun fa hum la yarjun deaf dumb blind so they not shall return you can even add there not they la is not they shall return not they shall return this is how the translation goes for these two verses i repeat the translate the translation of these two verses listen to it carefully as i recite sorry as i repeat the translation look carefully into the arabic of the quran the mushaf and follow the translation as i complete the translation of the two verses their example like the example of the one who kindled the fire then when it lighted what around him took away allah their light and left them in the darkness not they can see deaf dumb blind so they not shall return no allah subhanahu wa taala is speaking on the subject of hypocrites ra right? we are continuing on the subject of hypocrites yeah allah subhanahu wa taala says their example that means whose example the example of the hypocrites is like the example of the one who kindled the fire that is prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam lit the fire of knowledge lit the fire of islam what is light here referring to light here referring is to the blessings of islam so when prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam came to this world and in the 40th year of his life when he was granted prophethood then the revelations from allah subhanahu wa taala commenced and when prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam received these revelations he shared it to those people around him now many a uh, people responded but those who had doubts those who had elements of suspicion they did not take advantage of it and because they were they had decided not to believe or accept what did allah subhanahu wa taala do zahaballahu bi nurihim allah deprived them of that light and that knowledge of islam and left them in darkness we left them in darkness means what and left them to grow in ignorance zulumat here this darkness which refers to the life of jahiliya life of ignorance so they will never be able to see the light of islam and in spite of having the faculties of hearing of speaking and of seeing 
because they decided not to accept Islam in spite of Islam being offered to them. Such are the people whom Allah calls not physically deaf, dumb and blind, but they have not utilized their faculties to their advantage. And such people who intentionally are not prepared to accept the light of Islam, Allah too will not compel them and they will never come back to the straight path. This is the brief explanation of these two verses in the subject of hypocrites. Now we go ahead with the remaining verses. Oh, kasayibim minas samai fihi zulumatu waradu wabar. Yajaluna asabiahum fi azanihim minas sawa ihi hazar al mot. Wallahu muhitum bil kafirin. Alif and vow together, or means or. Yeah, you know that. It's a very commonly occurring word. <coughs> Aw means or. This is the translation for the word aw. Now, kasayib. Kasayib means ka again is like. Sayyib means rainstorm. What is sayyib? Rainstorm. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, aw kasayib, aw like the rainstorm from the sky. Fi he in it. Fi means in. He is it. Yeah, it's referring to the sky. In it, zulumat. What is zulumat? Darkness. Warad. Wow is and Raad means thunder. There's a surah itself in the Quran, Surah Raad, which means thunder. Then Allah says Barq. Barq means lightning. All these words were sent with the meanings to you, as well as the translation also was sent to you. Anyhow, it's just an additional help being given. All like the rainstorm from the sky, in it. Darkness, Zulamat is darkness and thunder and lightning. Yaj Aluna, they put Asabiyahum, Asabiyahum means their fingers. They put their fingers in, Fee means in, Azanihim, their ears. Azanihim means their ears. That is, they put like this. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, they put their fingers in their ears. Min means, I also gave you one translation of the word min. I have given you the translation of one of the translation of min as of. If you remember the seven translations given to you. Min is from, min is among, min is of, min is at, min is than, min is against. All these translations were given to you. Min is any. So seven translations were given for the word min. Most prominent will be from. So here you just have to add out. Just to make the meaning. So Allah says, all like the rainstorm from the sky, in it darkness and thunder and lightning. Yaj aluna aswabiyahum, they put their fingers in their ears out of Sawaik means thunderclaps Bijli ki kadak jisko bolte hain thunderclaps Hazar al maut fear of death the like kazdu are going to die that is the kind of fear that sets in in the hearts when there is severe thunderstorm with thunderclaps, there is darkness, there is lightning, etc. Wallahu muhitum bil kafirin. And Allah, muhit means, is the one who encompasses. Allah is the one who encompasses. Muhit. One of the names of Allah, Al Muhit. And Allah is the one who encompasses. Bil kafirin. Keep the be silent again. Kafirin, the disbelievers. And Allah encompasses. The disbelievers. Well, Allah is the one who encompasses the disbelievers. I repeat the translation of all the words follow the meaning and the verse as I go by with the translation. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Oh, like the look into only to the Quran, look exactly into the Arabic of the Quran, don't look here and there and concentrate. Or like the rainstorm from the sky, in it, darkness and thunder 
and lightning they put their fingers in their ears out of the thunder claps fear of death or from the thunder claps fear of death and allah is the one who encompasses kafirin the disbelievers yakadul barkhu yaqtafu absarahum kullama adaa lahum mashaw fi wa idha aslama alayhim khamu walaw sha allah lazahaba bisamihim wa absarihim inna allah ala kulli shay'in qadir yakadu means almost almost barq you know lightning it already come early now you'll not write fi zulumatu wa radu wa barq that you wrote barq as lightning now again when barq is written after yakadu you will not write you should remember now barq means lightning almost the lightning yaqtafu snatches away absarahum their vision or their sight almost the lightning snatches away their sight kullama kullama means whenever kullama means whenever whenever azaa lahum brighted all sorry then when lighted for them whenever lighted for them lahum is for them mashaw mashaw means they walk fihi in it they walked in it wa iza aslama and when aza is or iza means when you know that and when it became dark aslama means dark zulumat darkness you saw that and when it became dark alayh means what what is ala upon alayh means upon them khamu khamu means they stood they stood still now there is a word here this words and all will come very often in the quran It's already been told you earlier about the common words anyhow for the benefit of your revision i don't mind somebody is doing some scribbling kindly avoid if you have anybody around ask them to kindly behave themselves walo sha allah and law wa was and law means had very rarely law is translated as if very rarely very rarely most often it is translated as had so allah subhanahu wa taala says and had build allah like how you say inshallah no if build allah like that law sha allah had build allah that's it you say inshallah right what is inshallah means if wishes allah now here it is law sha allah which means had wished allah and had wished allah lazahaba now look at this word again carefully now this one you can write the translation you can note down this in your notebook this is a point which you can note down in your notebook now you saw this lazahaba we already seen zahaba took away you remember that zahaba allah bi nurihim wa tarakum fi zulumati la yubsirun we just saw it couple of verses back so zahaba you already know the meaning took away now the la that is there also has a meaning which means surely don't forget obviously when surely comes you cannot say surely took away you will say in this case almost the lightning snatches away their sight whenever it lighted for them they walked in it and when it became dark upon them they stood and had will allah surely would have taken away in the right english context that's how the english format will fall surely would have taken away now don't have to search where this would have and all that come according to the usage we have to use this but the same taken away will remain and had will allah surely would have taken away you can even add he if you want and had will allah surely he would have taken away bisami him their hearing wa absari him and their sight la stands for surely this is the point which i want to you to note and note it down in your book la zahaba surely now since it is had we cannot say took away we will say would have taken away 
had you committed this mistake you would have been punished that's how we say in english right so similarly allah says had willed allah surely he would have taken away their hearing and their sight now look into the blackboard again very important these type of words will come very often in the quran inna allah ala kulli shayin khadir what is inna verily you know that now this is the only time you will write You will never write Inna Allah Allah Kulli Shayn Khadir. Wahuha Wahuha Allah Kulli Shayn Khadir. When I also come and He is upon everything all powerful. Inna Allah Allah Kulli Shayn Khadir. Verily Allah, Allah is upon Kulli Shayn means everything. Kulli Shayn everything. Khadir all powerful. Khadir is all powerful. This is another attribute of Allah. Al Khadir, all powerful. So verily Allah is upon everything. All powerful. Kulli shay means everything. Kulli shay means everything. Beshak Allah har cheez par khudrat rakta hai. Beshak, beshak Allah har cheez par khudrat rakta hai. Verily Allah is upon everything. All powerful. Now this type of words you will come across in several verses. Next time when it comes you will not write. You will run through. Inna Allah la kulli shayin khadir. Verily Allah is upon everything. Khadir, all powerful. That's it. See the breakup. Verily Allah upon. You don't say upon is upon. Kulli shay everything. Khadir, all powerful. Finished. So this is how the verse goes. Now I'm going to repeat the translation, followed by your recitation and translation again. almost the lightning snatches away their sight whenever it lighted for them masha fi they walk in it and when it became dark upon them hamu they stood still or they stood and had willed allah surely would have taken away their hearing and their sight verily allah is upon everything khadir all powerful brief explanation of these two verses allah again in the same subject of hypocrites says over here take the example or the parable of a rainstorm now when there is a heavy downpour obviously when there is a heavy downpour we all experience along with the rain there will be three things which accompany it the whole environment will become dark there will be thunder there will be lightning thereby indicating that there is a heavy downpour so allah subhanahu wa taala says that on account of this what do these we what do the people do they they get scared where they are going to die hazar al maut fear of death what do they do they put their fingers in their ears so that the noise of the thunder claps should not frighten them but allah subhanahu wa taala says wallahu muhitum bil kafirin further allah says almost that lightning would have taken away their sight but when it it becomes bright they walk when it becomes dark they stand had will allah allah would have taken away their hearing and their sight verily allah is upon everything all powerful now this has a direct relevance given as an analogy to the attitude of the hypocrites now the mufassirin and the explainers of the quran have said that this rainstorm and heavy rain refers to islam which is a blessing rain is a blessing yeah barish ek rehmat hai allah ki rehmat barasti hai bolte hain hum log it means that there is a blessings of allah subhanahu wa taala so the rainstorm is compared to the to islam which is a source of blessing but rainstorm will not be there alone it will be accompanied by darkness thunder and lightning similarly islam is definitely a source of blessing but when anybody enters into the fold of islam they will have to experience difficulties hardships sufferings 
tests and trials and these are the impending obstacles these are the threatening dangers and it comes with islam when you want to practice islam it's not going to be a cake walk you will have to come across a lot of hardships difficulties in life just as how they cannot be a heavy downpour without darkness thunder and lightning they cannot be islam or believers who will not experience hardships tests trials tribulations and difficulties in life so if anybody wants to run away from this yet cannot escape once they have entered into the fold of islam unless they are prepared to accept themselves as hypocrites because hypocrites never are prepared to take any risk or trouble or hardship whenever the, everything is going fine they will come along with you mashaw fihi they will walk with you they will come along with you but the moment there is some threat there is some risk factor there is some discomfort there is some element of sacrifice which is required whenever there is any trouble which they foresee then what will they do they will just stay behind give you some excuse and walk off and allow the others to proceed this is the quality of a hypocrite who is unable to take head on those risks or troubles which come their path because they should understand that the path of islam is full of difficulties it's a very steep path and only those who remain steadfast and are prepared to overcome that challenge and difficulty putting their entire trust on allah will not be able to succeed and be admitted into paradise ahasiban nasu an yutraku an yaqulu amanna wa hum la yuftanun allah says in surah ankabut do the people think that just because they said or proclaimed islam they will be left alone without being tested this is definitely not going to happen wala khat fatanna allazina min qablihim certainly we tested people from before them and allah will make evident wala yalamanna allazina sadaqu wala yalamanna alkazibin allah will make it evident who are the people who are the truthful ones who are the genuine ones who are the sincere practicing muslims and who are the people who are the liars who in the garb of posing themselves as muslims were hypocrites in their hearts allah will make it evident so when we enter into the fourth fold of islam we must always be prepared for these challenges and difficulties and obstacles that are going to come in our way but we'll fight it out we'll overcome them we will put our trust in allah and put in our best efforts to overcome those difficulties for there only we will be successful in this world and the hereafter unlike the hypocrites who are not prepared to take any risks in life they are only comfortable as long as the going is smooth the moment the going becomes slightly rough or tough and then they will stop off allah subhanahu wa taala says if he wanted he could have deprived them of the guidance altogether but allah is giving them respite for allah subhanahu wa taala has total control over his affairs and he can do whatever he wishes the last verse for the day and then we will stop the conclude the class today يا ايها الناس بدوا ربكم الذي خلقكم والذين من قبلكم لعلكم تتقون الذي جعل لكم الارض فراشا والسماء بناء وانزل من السماء ماء فاخرج به من الثمرات رزقا لكم فلا تجعلوا لله اندادا وانتم تعلمون يا ايها الناس او من كان Like this, you have Ya Yu Allah Zin Amanu. Oh, those who believe, these are the two ways Allah addresses humanity. Sometimes Allah addresses as Ya Yu Allah Zin Amanu, oh those who believed to the believers, and another time Allah addresses the entire humanity or mankind and says Ya Yu Anas. Ya Yu Anas means O oh people, O oh mankind. Ibudu Rabbakum, be subservient to your Lord. Some translators have given worship your Lord. Worship it gives a very narrow meaning to this comprehensive term called ibudu ibudu is derived from the word abd abd means slave slave means one who serves his master in our case we are all allah's creation we are allah's slaves hum allah ke bande hain allah ke gulam hain allah ki makhlooq hain we are all slaves of allah subhanahu wa taala we are his creation and as allah's slaves what we need to do we need to serve our master we need to be subservient to the commandments of allah subhanahu wa taala so the better word will be o mankind 
be subservient to your Lord. Rabbukum, your Lord. How? Because of the kum. If it was Rabbi, my Lord. Rabbana, our Lord. Rabbuhu, his Lord. Rabbuhum, their Lord. Rabbuka, your Lord, singular. Rabbukum, your Lord, plural, because Allah is addressing the entire humanity, O oh mankind. Be subservient to your Lord. That means 24 into 7. Every breath of your life, you should be obedient to your master. Who is your master? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Maliki yawm He is the master. He is the malik. And he has total control over every move of ours. He is not only watching our deeds and actions, but he also is aware of the thoughts that transpire in our heart and mind and our intentions as well. So be subservient to your Lord. Allazi, the one who, we saw this Allazi earlier, the one who khalakakum, created you. Why the, ku, why the you came? Because of the kum. Khalakakum, who created you. And, what was and? Then Allazina, those, and those, min, min means from. You know the meaning of the word min. Khablikum, before you. Khabal is before, bada is after. You know that according to the prepositions, we have learned this earlier. Very important word. Let me just highlight it to you. We'll go through this again tomorrow. But just note it down in your notebook, please. The standard translation should be so that you may and in bracket become so that you may you because of the kum Lallakum means so that you may. Then you have another word sometimes called Lallahum, so that they may. Because of the hum. No, it is Lallakum, so that you may. No change in this format. Please note it down in your notebook. Try to memorize this word. It will come very often in the Quran. Lallakum, so that you may. Tattakhun, become God fearing. Tattakhun, you know, is God fearing or God conscious. We have seen that in the first verse of Surah Bakhra itself. Alif Lam Mim, Zalik Al Kitabu La Reba Fi, Hudal Lil Muttaqeen. The Muttaqeen is what is God fearing, God conscious. La Lakum Tattakun, so that you may become God conscious. Then further, Al Nazi, the one who Jala made Lakum for you, made for you the earth, Arz means earth. Firasha, Firasha is like a farsh, we say in Urdu, no? Farsh means carpet. The one who made for you the carpet. Sorry, the earth as a carpet, was sama and the sky as a umbrella, canopy, shelter. Bina, bina means canopy. Bina means canopy. Canopy means something which covers over your heads like an umbrella. Canopy. Wanzala minas sama iman. Wanzala means or utara and he sent down minas samai from the sky. What comes down from the sky? Though ma means water, but what comes down from the sky means we call it rain. Because it is mentioned as minas samai ma. If it's just ma means it is water, but since it is refers to the sky, we call it rain. What comes down from the sky is rain. And he sent down from the sky rain. Fa akhraja. Fa is then. Akhraja means he brought out. Bihi with it. Min again from, or you can say off here. Samarat means fruits. Samarat is called fruits. Fruits. Rizqal lakum as provision lakum for you. La, la means for. Kum is you. See, la is both as a preposition as well as for surely. You know that. Don't have to confuse. So, lakum means for you. Lahum, for them. Laka, for you. Singular. Li, for me. Lana, for us. Lahu, for him. Okay. Fala, tajalu. Fa is so. La is not. So, not. Tajalu. You set up. So, not you. Set up. Lillahi, for Allah. Andada, andada means rivals. Rivals means partners. Andada, rivals. Wantum talamun, while you talamun no. Wow is also translated sometimes as while, depending on the 
context most often it is translated as and sometimes it will also be translated as while and the other meaning of wow is by when you take an oath washams wal khamar wan najam etc while you talamun no i am not rushing up this verse because this is quite a long verse in fact two verses i will just recite the translation we'll leave it for tomorrow and continue with this i don't want to rush it up but having started let me complete you will get your turn inshallah tomorrow you will have to excuse us because we are running out of time so i'm going to these two verses once again follow the meaning carefully and the explanation also will come tomorrow inshallah o mankind be subservient to your lord the one who created you and those from before you so that you may become sorry and those from before so that you may become god conscious the one who made for you the earth as a carpet and the sky as a canopy bina means canopy so do not set up for allah rivals while you know subhanallah wa bihamdihi subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh